Uh, this is Jim Painter, and we're going to be talking about fasting today, which is one of my favorite subjects. It says that it's 1997, but I kind of remember seeing this back in, 90, in 1995, a little bit before that, but somewhere in that range. So it's, it's 30 years old, um, or 1975, I mean. I, I, this, when it was published, but that's 20 years ago, I think it came from 30 or 40 years ago. This just looks at survival rate. <clears throat> this is a little mouse that's fed completely. And then here's 85 percent, 50, and then 40. It's restricted feeding, and we can see here that ad-lib feeding the mices, the mices, the mooses, the mice um, live to be about maybe 32 um, months. And then here at the extreme calorie restriction, they live to be 55 months, maybe. So that's like a 75 percent increase. Wow, you can live. 75% longer if you will fast, if you're a mouse. And so we'll talk about that in a minute. It's, it works for us, but doesn't work as well. Longevity, remember you saw that mouse that lives 75% longer? Fasting mechanisms and clinical applications. So here's a bacteria. A bacteria lives for maybe, you know, 36 hours. If you restrict its feeding, it can live to 84 hours. It can more than double its, its lifespan. Wow, if you're a bacteria, this is a great thing. Yeast, they're all dead in about 12 days. And if you restrict them, they can live to 40. It, it triples, maybe almost quadruples their lifespan. Don't you wish you were a yeast? <laughs> and then get a little bit bigger in worms. Okay, it doesn't do as much for a worm, but still it averages from 20 days to say 30 days, so it increases the lifespan by 50%. And then here is the little moose we talked about earlier. So in mice, it does seem to do something, but again, it's going from 100 and, and maybe 20 days to over here's the halfway mark to 130 or 140 days. <clears throat> so there is an increase in lifespan for these small rodents. And we've studied that so much, it's very well proven that any kind of calorie restriction really helps um, longevity in, in all of these different um, beings. Promoting health and longevity with a human. So we've, we've said, you know, we've got mouse information, guppy information, we've got, you know, worms. We've even got smaller um, <clears throat> animals like dogs that have been, and, and monkeys that show, yes, it looks like it increases their life. Does it work with humans? Probably. But it's, it's just difficult to study humans because we live so long. We're, we're living, you know, 80, 90 years. And um, so does dietary restriction increase lifespan? Probably. Does it increase health span? Yes, it does. <clears throat> That's what we're talking about here. We're going to go through some more of these things, specific conditions that it would be beneficial for.